Kwenzinga, also known as Nzinga Mbande, the monarch of Mbundu people who was a resilient leader who fought against the Portuguese and their expanding slave trade in Central Africa. During the late 16th century, the French and the English threatened the Portuguese near monopoly on the sources of slaves along the West African coast, forcing it to seek new areas for exploitation. Welcome to the Did You Know segment with me, your host, Espila Caleb, and today we are going to look at the story of Queen Zinga of Angola. By the year 1580, the French and the English had already established a trading relationship with Afonso I in the nearby Congo Kingdom. They had then turned to Angola, south of the Congo. The Portuguese had established a fort and a settlement at Luanda in 1617, encroaching on Mbundu land in the year 1622, where they invited Angola, King Mbande, to attend a peace conference there to end the hostilities with the Mbundu people. Mbande sent his sister Nziinga to represent him in a meeting with the Portuguese governor, Joao Coaria de Sousa. Nzinga was aware of her diplomatically awkward position. She knew of the events in the Congo which had led to the Portuguese domination of the normally independent nation. She also recognized, however, that to refuse the trade with the Portuguese would remove a potentially ally, a potential ally and the major sources of guns for her own state. In the first of a series of meetings, Nziinga sought to establish her equality with the representative of the Portugal crown. Noting that the only chair in the room belonged to Governor Correa, she immediately motioned to one of her assistants who fell on her hands and knees and served as a chair for Nziinga for the rest of the meeting. Despite that display, Nziinga made accommodations with the Portuguese. She converted to Christianity and adopted the name Dona Ana de Souza. She was baptized in honor of the governor's wife who also became her godmother. Shortly afterwards, Nzinga urged a reluctant Ngola Mbande to order the conversion of his people to Christianity. In the year 1626, Nzinga became queen of the Mbundu when her brother committed suicide in the face of rising Portuguese demands for slave, slave trade concessions. Nzinga, however, refused to allow them to control her nation. In the year 1627, after forming alliances with the former rival states, she led her army against the Portuguese, initiating a 30-year war against them. She exploited European rivalry by forging an alliance with the Dutch, who had conquered Luanda in 1641. With their help, Nzinga defeated a Portuguese army in 1647. When the Dutch were in turn defeated by the Portuguese the following year and withdrew from the Central Africa, Nzinga continued her struggle against the Portuguese. Now in her 60s, she still personally led troops in battle. She also orchestrated guerrilla attacks on the Portuguese which would continue long after her death and inspire the ultimately successful 20th century armed resistance against the Portuguese that resulted in independent Angola in 1975. Despite repeated attempts by the Portuguese and their allies to capture or kill Queen Nzinga, she died peacefully in her 80s in the year 1663, that is December 17th. That is it folks and remember to like, subscribe and share and see you next week for this and more stories on Africa.